you know it's usually really easy to make videos about people like commentary videos that i don't have really any connection with or at least for example somebody like i guess boogie who is obviously an easy target today's video is going to be different and i'm going to be honest without trying to be dramatic here it is going to be hard for me to strip away any bias that i may have but for the context of the video which you probably saw in the thumbnail it's it's definitely needed in this case now I can just start this off, I guess, by saying I don't know what's true. Obviously, there's been no response. There's been no proof. There's been no denying. So, you know, uh, I believe it to be the right thing to take the side of the alleged victim first and foremost, because why would this even need to be fabricated in the first place? So, obviously, let's start from the beginning. So, Tana Montague, Montague, Mongoose, Magahogahoga came forward and, you know, started talking about Cody Ko and her her having intercourse when she was 17 years old. Now you may be thinking, well, Cody Ko doesn't seem that old. Maybe he was around the same age. Well, if this is true, Cody slept with Tana when he was 25. at the time if, if she was 17 he would have been 25 obviously it's 2024 i don't need to explain the implications of this to you we just had you know the doctor disrespect guy which in in moral consistency i shun him even if it, it was true which by the way it never was proven that the girl he was whispering was 17 even if that's true i dispel him just as much as i do cody co if this is true now you may be wondering well why did this even start now if this was obviously all these years ago why is it starting to come to light now there was a clip going around of tana saying you know who had the the smallest you know package and she said that it was cody ko and joked that oh i was only 17 you know the smallest you've ever had sex with oh my god no one look at me cody ko i can say that i was literally 17 i can say that and that that immediately raised the question because people knew there was a gap between tana and cody so if she was 17 cody had to realistically been above 18 and then that's when you know the math didn't math quite in cody's favor so i guess sometime later and i'm still through the research that i looked for unclear why tana decided to start talking about this now but she went on two different podcasts and talked about it in a little bit more detail this isn't just some crazy tea it was a crime. Yep. I hooked up with Cody Ko when I was 17 and he was 25. When I look back at the Cody situation, it is, I definitely am like, why was he doing that? You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't associate or hold it with trauma because I am such a comparative person where I'm like, so many worse things have happened to me. And yeah. that's bad. And I just want to say up front, Tana is no way in the wrong here for even bringing this up. Like, yes, Cody is or was a beloved YouTuber to a lot of people. He was a very talented and funny person. But none of that matters if, if this is true. And none of that at all diminishes what Tana is alleging. Now, before I get any pitchforks and torches, I'm saying alleged because it is alleged. I said the same thing with Dr. Disrespect. I mean, Dr. Disrespect didn't even respond to anybody yet. And everybody was already making in their rounds i was jumping the gun on making videos about it and trust me no matter how much i liked cody ko there's no excuses there's no justifying this blatant predatory behavior should it be true i have seen so many comments of people like on some like but what was she wearing and then I just like, I feel so bad for all of these young girls because then they see that and then it makes them not want to come forward. And then I am like, wow, f everyone. Yeah. Like seeing people not believe you is so crazy. Now, do I know why Tana waited until 2024 to come out? No, but there's there's a lot of statistics that show people usually wait a long time to come forward with this stuff because like Tana says, you know, she was a fan of Cody. There was obviously a slight little power dynamic in that relationship. There was the social influence. Tana was already a uncredible, quote unquote, dislikable person on YouTube, on the YouTube space. When there's 20,000 people lined up outside for hashtag Tanacon. There is apparently 20,000 people in line right now. Well, additionally, getting Tana's explanation of what went wrong from her perspective. However, most importantly, this documentary gave Tana the ability to display her remorse for the failure of the event. It was um, stupid and spiteful. It was so stupid. Planning my convention the same days as VidCon was so 
stupid. Which fans could sense was genuine, and the reputation of Tana Mojo slowly began to repair itself in the month following the event. So, it makes sense why she didn't feel comfortable coming out with it until now. Now this clip has been going around, it was in D'Angelo Wallace's video, it was in Philip DeFranco's video, it's of Gabby Hanna, I know the quality's absolute ass, but it's of Gabby Hanna telling this little story. I put this in here as just kind of something that, that could be correlated. They show no proof that this is what it was, or that this is what they were talking about. I'm not saying it's not, I'm just saying this is a potentially contextual clip that fits with the rest of this stuff. I don't know if any of this is true or not, so keep that with, you know, grain of salt. One time, I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage, and I pulled him aside and I was like, hey man, you probably don't know, I know she like looks a little older, she's underage, watch it. And he's like, oh my god, thank you for telling me. And then he... I mean, uh, I'll just be honest, I'm super bummed because, like I said, I took a lot of inspiration from Cody, and honestly, in my opinion, I don't think he'll even respond to it. I think he'll just keep making his Cody and Co. button videos every week. I think he'll keep going as normal because, like we already see with Dr. Disrespect, that's already, you know, in the past. The internet moves so, so fast. So I think Cody will just maybe stop uploading until it disappears, and he can eventually jump back in, and people will stop noticing. And I think no matter what, just like Dr. Disrespect, Respect. Even if this is all true, no matter what, Cody's gonna have a fan base. Cody's gonna have people that constantly watch the videos and his ad revenue will stay probably pretty consistent. So I don't know. It's hard in that regard, but the thing that was actually really heartbreaking to me and kind of crazy to me is after it started going viral, like seeing so many people like mm. not believing me and being mm. like, it's Tana, so who cares? It's this. And then I just started to feel bad for so many other girls who maybe look up to me and want to speak their truth and then see the way people like, yeah just don't believe people and it's like I, i've never really exp i've always had people not believe like things but i don't know why this one just like hits different because it's like so real and it's something that you like didn't talk but you have talked about it. it's always been since you have talked about it you don't have this like reputation of being like a liar or anything like that so it is interesting that that happens and that other people see that and be like oh my god if this is happening tana who has all this like power and like you know whatever and it's like people are like not believing her or like turning against her like they'll be scared to do it you know what i mean yeah and that just that's like where what really like flipped a switch in me yeah towards my whole perspective on this situation where i was like that fucking sucks. It sucks i mean honestly my heart goes out to exactly who stan is talking about who the girls on the internet that see this stuff and they're like well maybe i shouldn't come forward then like that's that's one thing we need to put in the past of anything in the internet is people being scared to come forward with their stories because it's a famous figure it's a you know unbelievable quote unquote story something like that like that's the stuff we gotta leave in the past truthfully i don't know i do hope cody comes out and talks about it i do hope we get some some more information because right now this is all ridiculous and obviously i stand with tana and any victims of this kind of stuff because it's not right it's not right underage you know there is a number and it is the number of consent in the united states and that is 18 years old if they're not 18 don't touch it it's, it's, it's literally that simple especially if you were 25 years old trying to hit 5k into the year go down there tickle the subscribe button that's all for me i'll see you guys next time